It's just a case of uh, melting the snow that's all around you into a, a large tank, uh, passing that water through heaters and pumps, and using a, a long hose, which you lower slowly into the ice and, and make the hole. It's just a case of uh, how long that takes. Uh, the main problems working in Antarctica is that it's particularly cold. The ice is at minus 27. Uh, the air temperatures can be low as minus 30. So there's always a risk of uh, things freezing up and uh, actually getting stuck in the hole. Is that why it's the first time that this has successfully been done? One of, one of the main reasons uh, this kind of work is uh, it can be very problematic, a lot of technical issues. Uh, you're in a very re remote location as well, uh, so you have to be self-sufficient in, in everything that you take. Uh, but yes, this is the first time that uh, we've drilled to a depth of over two kilometres successfully. And why uh, has the team done this? What, now that they're down there, what do they want to find out? So the, the main motivation for the project has been uh, looking at ice sheet history and also the flow of ice off the continent of Antarctica. Obviously, we want to understand how the ice sheet has responded in the past and how it will respond in the future. And by drilling down to the base, we can look at the sediments that uh, the ice sits on and how slippy they are. And that determines how quickly the ice can flow off the continent. And then obviously, that can impact uh, sea level. Might that help us to understand uh, global warming and why ice caps are melting? Uh, it's, a key, it's a key component of that, understanding uh, how it responds to, to melting around its fringes and then how the ice will then flow off the continent. Uh, having these measurements are quite critical to uh, numerical models that will predict the, the future into hundreds of years into the future. If you're if you're drilling down two kilometres through this ice uh, sheet, forgive me because I'm not an engineer, but could there be uh, a, a slight risk that you might damage the integrity of the whole uh, ice sheet and therefore cause more harm? So, <clears throat> for some projects, in particular, if you if it's biological studies, then uh, you will make sure that your drill is uh, almost sterile. Uh, and keeping the environment clean. The process of hot water drilling is, is relatively clean. We effectively heat treat the water. It's heated to 90 degrees. And that, that temperature and uh, changes in pressure will kill any bacteria. So we are uh, preserving the environment uh, beneath the ice. And the process of melting a hole through the ice has very little impact on, on the very large ice sheet. OK, so the structural integrity is not, is not um, harmed. Uh, in terms of what practical applications we might have from the research that's carried out, uh, just talk us through that. Might there be a way of us understanding climate change better and therefore being able to stop it? Very, very much so. It's, uh, it is understanding the slipperiness of, of the sediments beneath the ice. Uh, the ice streams are fast-flowing rivers of ice from the continent. and They discharge vast volumes of ice into the ocean. And understanding that uh, particular parameter of slipperiness is, is key to future predictions. And it will help us understand and inform policymakers about uh, the likelihood of sea level rise. And we can better pin down the, the likely sea level rise we expect in, in the future in the coming centuries.